We're just days away from firing up the grill for the 4th of July holiday. Here to this morning to have an upgrade, some beef barbecue stable. <laughs> it's Mark Sherry, owner of Old Homestead Steakhouse. Hi, Mark. Good morning, girls. You can step in. Now you're good. Come on in. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Well, we all know that July 4th is one of the busiest grilling days of the year, but yes. it's not always been steaks, hot dogs, hamburgers, and potato salad. Some of the early independent state celebrations was turtle soup. Come on, Cynthia, turtle oh, soup. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. Poached salmon, boiled potatoes. And it was all the rage to grill oxen and pig. I forget about this. Yeah, forget I about forget. Forget. let's just move on. Okay. Let's see what you so, brought. Yeah. Interesting <laughs> enough, $1 billion is going to be spent on beef for this July 4th mm. barbecue. Let's kick it off with the old glory. I call it the red, white, and blue Steak. That's it's a, this right yes, here. It's a USDA okay. prime porthouse from the old homestead meat locker. And of course, the red is the inside of the meat. The white is cauliflower florets. And the blue is a blue ragu steak sauce. What's your best tip for making sure that you grill the meat exactly how you want it? For the, a steak this size, five minutes on high heat, 15 mm -hmm. minutes on a low heat. That's a rule of thumb for all grilling. Oh, okay. okay. Simple, I like Next, it. Next, we have the tomahawk lamb chops. That's this right there? Yes. Okay. And we pack them with panko breadcrumbs, horseradish, scallions, garlic, and a little bit of olive oil. They're just very succulent. And then mega patties here? Well, yes, before <laughs> the mega patties, <laughs> who Ooh. doesn't want a hot dog yes. for your July 4th this is barbecue? not your average hot dog. No. Well, the homestead gave you this for the OMG factor. Yes. <laughs> but I went patriotic. I got accompaniments for the first three states of the union. So let's take a look. Lobster? Let's take a look. Delaware dog. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Signature scrapple, lobster. Okay. Pennsylvania dog. This is inspired by Benjamin Franklin. This is a orange cranberry relish. Another forefather, Thomas Jefferson, loved macaroni and cheese. The macaroni and cheese dog. Jersey, yeah, Yay. baby, yeah. Okay. okay, fried onions, potatoes, peppers. It's like a side <laughs> like dish every, on your hot dog. Everything on there. So let's get to what we're yes. making, though, because we don't want to run out of time. I'd like this to introduce to the world the flow nut. <laughs> okay. okay, let's okay. see it. So what it is is a... You get yourself an eight-pound fillet. Oh my gosh! So this is a donut on top. Yes. You get yourself an eight-pound <laughs> fillet. You season it mm -hmm. on the grill. Twelve minutes each side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take it off. Let it rest. We take our donut. Mm -hmm. and we slice it. Okay. I like to just have a small piece. Okay. Okay. And we cut our beef into two-inch medallions. I can't imagine how this is going to taste. That looks so soft. <laughs> Cindy is the donut. I am donut right queen. I want you to taste this one right here because that's, that's the grow. fourth of July in your mouth. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. And you have a sauce on it. Yes, that's a peach Ooh. fig ragu. Mm. Moving right along, this is our appropriately named firecracker skewers. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Scallops, shrimp. Ribeye, we marinate it in a honey sriracha sauce. So we surround it with these beautiful vegetables, corn, peppers, etc. Last but not least, our key lime lobster lollipops. Oh. We marinate them in key lime butter, <laughs> lime juice, olive oil. Fabulous. Put some asparagus in just for the look. Remember, always <laughs> safe grilling. Yes. Safe grilling. Do yes. it this way. Put your grill Thank on. Thank Make you, sure Mark. it's clean. Happy birthday, Yay. America. Happy birthday, America. Yay. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday. Ron Savona, 75 years today. Thank you for being here. And Aww. Mr. Met as well. Yes. And Vanessa. <laughs> That's right. I'm happy to be here, too. <laughs>